Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are looking at another AP Physics 1 free response question, and this is a energy focused question. So let's take a look. I encourage you to pause the video, try to do the problem on your own, and then come back after you've attempted the problem. So determine the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of Mars in terms of g, the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of Earth. Um, oh, let's read the problem. Sojourner was a vehicle, explore the surface of Mars, blah, blah, blah. Use the data and table to answer your questions. Radius of Earth, mass of Earth. Oh, this is a lot of gravitational questions. So, mm -mm. Okay. What is G? Remember, when we do MG, is equal to force of gravity times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the object over the radius of the Earth squared. So these m's cancel. So g is equal to sort of this. g is equal to g mass of Earth over radius of Earth squared. They're asking what g is for Mars. g for Mars would be g times the mass of Mars divided by the radius of Mars, right, squared. But I know that the mass of Mars is 0.11, the mass of Earth. And I know the radius of Mars is 0.53, the radius of Earth. Right? So I'm just replacing the mass. Like I know the, ma the mass of Mars is equal to 0.11, mass of Earth. And I know the mass of, sorry, the radius of Mars is equal to 0.53. Uh, radius of Earth, right? So I just plug that in there. And I could um, bring out all the constants. This would be 0.11 over 0.53 squared times g mass of Earth over radius of Earth squared, right? And this part is just, just g. So this would be 0.11 divided by 0.53 squared. That would be 0.392 g. So 0.392. Oh, include the G in there. 0.310 new times G. Okay, that's A. B, calculate the sojourner's weight on the surface of Mars. Okay, well, uh, it's mg. It's the mass times G in there. So it would be 11.5 kilograms times 0.392 times 9.8 meters per second squared, right? Because I don't use the G of Earth, I use the G of Mars, which we decided was this. So his weight would be 44.1 newtons. Uh, assume that when leaving the Pathfinder spacecraft, Sojourner rolls down a ramp inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal. The ramp must be lightweight but strong enough to support Sojourner. Calculate the minimum normal force that may be supplied by the ramp. Okay, so I gotta draw a picture here. Um, he's going down this ramp at 20 degrees. And we know he's got a, f let's do the free body diagram. This force is 44.1 newtons. That's what we decided his weight was. The normal force is this. And we know um, because of the angle, the normal force would, because it's not accelerating off the ramp, right? Um, this is 20 degrees. We know that in general, Fn would have to equal 44.1 newtons times uh, 20, 20 degrees is here, so this is cosine, adjacent side, cosine 20 degrees, right? These forces would have to be balanced in order for it to not uh, accelerate in the vertical direction, right? So I get 41.47 newtons. Okay. What is the net force on Sojourner as it travels across the Martian surface at constant velocity? Justify your answer. D, this is zero. Constant velocity is because A is zero, right? So F net equals MA. If A is zero, the net force has to be zero because of constant velocity, no acceleration. 
Determine the maximum distance that Sojourner can travel on a horizontal Martian surface using its stored energy. Let's see, this is sort of a power energy question. All right, its land speed is this. So how long can it use this much energy for? Well, it, while it's driving, it's using 10 watts of power. So the time it can drive for, the t like, um, the time he can drive is equal to um, energy. Well, let me, let me write it. Let's write the equation that I know it. Power is energy per unit time. So if I wanted to set for the time, I do energy per divided by power. So I would do 5.4 times 10 to the fifth joules divided by its power is just 10 watts. And so 5.4 e5 divided by 10 is 54,000 seconds. Okay, and its speed is constant at this. So its its position is just v naught t because not any acceleration. So it'd be 6.7 times 10 to the minus 3 meters per second times 54,000 seconds. And that is 361.8 meters. Okay. F. Suppose that 0.01% of the power for driving expended against atmospheric drag as Sojourner travels on the Martian surface. Calculate the magnitude of the drag force. So that means it has to exert a power of um, so it has to use that to create a force that compensates it. So what's the energy of the so the work done by friction by drag? Well, it was a work done by drag is the force of drag times the distance it's applying, delta x. And how does that relate to, but we know that this work done is um, its power times time, like this energy, because uh, power is energy over time which we know to be um, point zero 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 one times 10 delta T. So if I want to solve for the drag force, I'd get point zero 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 one times 10 delta T over delta X. Um, yeah, this 10 is in 10 watts. The time that it was doing so, and the reason I put in two zeros because this is 0.01%. So uh, delta T is the time. The time was 54,000 seconds. I know I'm getting really small here. And the distance was 361.8 meters. So that's sort of like the work done by it over the entire time. So 0 0.0001 times 10 times 54,000 divided by 361.8. I get, I got FD, the drag force was equal to 0.149 newtons. Okay, so that was kind of a work energy question, right? The work done by friction uh, and how it affects energy. So. Okay, hope you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content, and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.